In this video I'll be showing you how to fix the how.dll is missing or corrupt error message. Now I've made a video on this before but I've had a lot of messages from people saying that they haven't got a Windows CD, how do they go about fixing it? This is just another option for you if you want to try and fix it without a Windows CD. So we've got our uh, virtual box here. Now I'm going to be using the virtual box otherwise I won't be able to show you unless I've got a camcorder which I don't have here. So I'm going to be uh, booting up to this Windows XP now you may say this only Windows XP what about Windows 7 or Vista well you can still use the same CD okay so what I'm going to be doing is using a program called Spot May you, uh to actually fix the error so I'm going to start up and you'll see the actual error message once we try to boot the system up okay it's saying it's missing or it's corrupted okay so what we need to do here is uh, click on our ISO image or CD, restart the machine and uh, boot up to the software. Now this is not a free piece of software but obviously it's a small price to pay if you haven't got it's cheaper than a Windows CD so if you want to purchase this by all means go ahead and purchase it. It just loads up. Let this load. Now as I said you can use things like Puppy Linux that's free I'll try and make a video of that and all you need to do is take the file out of a um, service pack 2 or service pack 3 and and actually drop the file in physically into system 32 and that should fix it so let's have a little look here okay so we've got our uh, CD booted up now as you can see now what I want to do is I want to go to recovery so she just come down to recovery like so and then I want to come down to missed uh, file recovery down option one here click on that and as you can see it's picking up my Windows XP there and uh, basically this will fix NTL DR is missing NT um, OS kernel is uh, .exe is missing and also ntdetect.com is missing boot manager is missing and ntfs.systemfile is missing and hell.dll is missing so it will fix all these errors okay we need to do is click on the scan and as you can see it's already picked up that the hell.dll is missing or it is corrupted so what it's going to do is just click OK and then click recover down at the bottom here and it'll ask you basically do you want to recover it to the Microsoft Windows XP and I'm going to say yep for that do you really want to cover them say yes now this is the part what it, it wants to overwrite all of them but you don't need to do that if they're not uh, broken so or missing so basically I'm not going to bother with that one oh, my mouse has just disappeared don't know what's happened there, let me try and sort that out. What's gone on there? Hold on a second. Nope, for that one. Okay, how.dll, we want to actually do that one. We don't want to actually do this one. And nor that one. Nor that one. It's okay. So we push restart. Now I need to just quickly come out of here and make sure I'm not booting to the CD otherwise it will boot to that CD I want to actually boot to the Windows and we should actually be able to boot up and there you have it one fixed machine so basically this is only going to work if if it's the LDLL file or one of the other ones that I mentioned that is corrupted or missing so you just need to do that and you should be back up and running okay my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk hope these uh, videos are some use to you if they are please subscribe to my channel also uh, get over to my forum and uh, start posting your problems over there people are still posting messages to me with their problems and I'm not going to be answering any more problems by private message it's going to only be on the forum I'm afraid because it makes it easier for me so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now